Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So a couple of days ago, I made a post saying that I was going to cancel this video idea because I wasn't enjoying it. But I already completed the challenge and still have the footage, so I decided just to make this one a lot shorter and talk about some key points that will help anyone that decides to try this run. Truthfully, it wasn't really difficult, just different I guess. The only rule for the run was I simply couldn't buy anything and had to rely on item drops. Let's not waste any time and let's just get into it. So some noteworthy things to mention is since you can't buy anything you can't upgrade your weapons, pods, or expand your plug and chip slot. So you only have 40 spaces to work with for your chips so have fun. It'll be very limited on healing items so it is crucial you get your hands on an auto heal and a deadly heal chip so that you always have a passive way of healing. My personal chip set for the run was an XP gain up plus 2, an auto heal, a deadly heal, and a shockwave plus 2. So where do you find auto and deadly heal? For auto you can grind for them by killing small sphere and link sphere machines. These guys don't spawn in until you beat the glides in the city ruins and the craters in the ground. And as for the deadly heal chips you can grind for those by killing the small and medium biped machines in the forest and castle. And if you want to get bonus XP for every enemy you slay, you can grind for an XP up chip in the amusement park. So there's all the chips that'll be most useful for this run. Now what about weapons? So once again you can't buy or upgrade them so you'll need to rely on side quests. For me, there was only three really noteworthy side quests that gave you weapons and helpful items. The first quest is 11B's Memento. You get access to this quest after you complete the task from everyone in the resistance camp. And at the end of this quest, make sure you tell 16D the truth about 11B going AWOL. The quest rewards you with the Eorha issue blade, and that pair with the virtuous contract gives you a much better damage per second. The second quest is the Eorha Betrayer's quest. You're tasked with finding and killing some rogue androids, and once you do that, you get the Type 40 Lance. Now the last quest is a quest line, so you have to keep up with it. This final quest is one you get from Operator 60, and you get access to it once you can fast travel. Seeing her quest line to completion rewards you with the Type 40 Sword, which does more damage than any other small sword you've acquired at this point. And better yet, you get the Bomb Pod program. And if you have all three pods, this does a lot more damage in a shorter time. The final weapon you're going to want to keep an eye out for is the Engine Blade, which can be acquired in the factory once once you go over there with Pascal. Now that you have both the Type 40 Sword and the Engine Blade, you're going to want to put the Type 40 Sword in the Light Attack slot and the Engine Blade in the Heavy Attack slot. Why you might ask? Because they both have the same amount of combo attacks and the Type 40 does more damage in the Light category while the Engine Blade does more damage in the Heavy category. Now finally to the pods. So like I just mentioned, 6 O's quest rewards you with the Bomb Pod program and it is amazing so you're going to want to utilize it. When you start the game you only have one pod program but you can get two more as you progress along. One can be found in the desert and the other can be found in the flooded city when you're fishing. Now with those helpful tips out of the way, time to breeze past my experience with a quick montage.
Well, wouldn't you know, it was possible. Again, my apologies about not making this a full-fledged challenge video, but I really just wasn't enjoying it and I don't want to make or post stuff that I'm not going to enjoy. But of course, we have much better challenges coming up in the future. Ahem. <laughs> 100 so special. As always, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.